Good morning. <clears throat> How are we doing today? Good morning, y'all. I'm doing well. All right, so we left off yesterday. We have a couple things we could do. One thing I know that is broken right now is our onboarding flow, and I'm not sure why. It's loading the wrong questions. Curious if the issue is in here. So to show you what I'm talking about, actually, let's get everything updated here quick. Uh, let me see if, yeah, once this finishes deploying. Morning, Callum. So let's run our updates quick. And we'll go to Tmux AR10 and bump the font size for y'all. And let's make sure this server is running. Looks like it is. So what happens if we come in here and if we go to localhost, we should load in the dashboard. Very good. However, the problem that I'm talking about is if we come to sign up and we just do bar baz three, one, two, three, four, We do foo bar, foo bar, create account. So this is right. How many years have you been in business? Let's just say five. Approximately how many households? We'll say five. We'll say foo bar. This is also a text. That right there. So this should be a this should be a different component here. Assessment question. So these should all be scale questions. Here's what we just did.
All right, the data seems fine. So this is likely a bug in the code. So let's turn on super debug. I'm guessing something's broken with the store because it is always rendering this case right here. So let's go ahead and do a, um, we'll do a debug, I guess, not debug, inspect of store.current question, I guess. Internal error. All right, did we get a error message over here? We did. Oh yeah, we did, uh, I did. I don't think I changed this file recently though, did I? Uh, it's gonna be an apps, front, source, Routes, authenticated, uh, onboarding two weeks ago. Everything just moved. How did this break? The use of ish in commit messages makes me nervous. Good. If commit messages aren't making you nervous, you're not doing it right. Good morning. All right, I don't see anything obvious here, and this obviously got to a bad state, so let's delete this user. Or we could just go ahead and do answers, and we can delete these ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could delete these, and that should get me hopefully back to a better state. Come back over here and we refresh. There we go. And let's add in super debug here. Or actually we have the inspect, right? Yeah. So if we, that's gonna log. All right, so I think there's a bug on this one. When I click next, yeah, yeah. Oh 
y type scale Uncut spell error props invalid value So I wonder if Store dot current question that is right Oh man, I don't even know what to do here to figure this out. So it says bind value is undefined. So it's this one right here. So the radio group probably upgraded. Um, and we can probably do this. Maybe that makes it better. Yeah, now we're stuck in this stupid state again. So we come in here and we delete all the answers we made today, which are right here. Delete those, yeet those into the void, back to arc, refresh. This will kick us back into here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Blah, 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 blah. All right, that at least changed. All right, so our radio group changed. Yeah, because we upgraded Shadzion and it just broke this. Cool. So I think I need to reinstall. Thanks to you, effect is my note I go to. Let's go, that's awesome. I love to hear that. I'm gonna screenshot that. Okay. Um, I guess we need to go possibly look at the radio group for bits UI because that's what's broken right now. Bits UI. Uh, radio. All right. Oh, wait, we did. Did 
That is that. I don't understand what's happening here. So we see the item. I just don't have the item indicator. Item dot spell dot t. about SWC but I really like SWR I've been using SWR for like years it's kind of like uh, it feels similar to like react query um, I've just always used SWR instead just because I found out about it first and it's always worked morning purplish I have no idea how to fix this. This is really annoying. I don't know why this broke. Visit the preview docs. This is where it broke. It had to be in here, right? Components, radio. Code. All right. Preview, okay. So we have Functions radio group item, we have the world. label. We just don't need the item indicator in here. I mean, I'm just gonna about to freaking reinstall this thing. I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe. All right, well, let's see how that worked. Because now we probably have some type errors in our... What? How do we get a type error in here? I mean, that is true. Uh, that's just not like a valid query anymore. So does that mean that that fixed? I guess we're okay. Uh, LSP is not working. Oh, there it goes. Rack online. Okay, every... Did that just fix it? Uh, bun run dev. We should see this. There we go. That's 
That's what we should expect to see. But absolutely borked at the moment. <laughs> so let's just get back to a fresh state again one more time. Well, hopefully only one more time. And let's delete these. And we'll delete the ones we created this morning. So the 13th. Eat those. And then we'll minimize that. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That doesn't even let me input right now. We're just going to go ahead and restart. We did restart before that though, didn't we? How do we break this so bad? <laughs> oh man, chat. I find it difficult to use SQL, mostly do my stuff in Redis and Mongo. SQL is probably the most valuable skill, not the most, but one of the most valuable skills you could use at learn as a developer because once you start scaling up on Mongo, and when I say scale up, I don't mean like web traffic scale. I mean on like scaling up your code base, the size, the number of features, the number of engineers on the team, the number of engineering teams, the number of collections, uh, Mongo becomes a pain because almost always you end up with relational data and Mongo is just not the right choice for relational data. Drizzle will definitely help uh, strengthen those skills. Hydration mismatch. Why would we have a hydration mismatch? the page dot server the page dot spell we don't have anything that's like dynamic though layout none of these have any sort of time Everything's just an array at the very bottom. Is it this inspect that's causing hydration errors? That would be weird, right? We're gonna just nuke this user and see if that fixes this problem. <laughs> this one, get rid of you. That's gonna log me out over here, or at least it should. Yeah, there we go. Then we go sign up. Two bar, two 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 three 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 four four four. Two bar, two bar. I still can't enter. It's because it's a numeric input chat. It's because it's a numeric input. I'm, we're just gonna be, 
We're just gonna pretend it didn't happen that way. So some of my styling's broken. So if we go back. I think as we hover these ones, they should turn green. I actually don't remember what the intended. No, I actually think this is right. I love this little component. This is such a nice little component. God, I'm so dumb, chat. All right, this is fixed, I'm assuming. We'll have to verify email, which I already saw I got the email. So we know the job queue's running. We verify email, come over here. Uh, get rid of that. We have our onboarding. Uh, you can just verify our email here, verify code. Boom, and there it is. We go upload metrics, go back to our dashboard, prospecting tool. Nice. Okay. There's some weird styling going on with the bar over here, but we can fix that at another point. I don't really care. Oh, I forgot we made the account page. Nice. Okay. That looks good. We can delete this. Uh, Great. I guess we need to find a charting solution now. I think after election, immigrants are gonna get destroyed trying to land remote jobs in the US. I have no idea. I have absolutely no clue. I don't know nearly enough about uh, the, the incoming administration position on uh, specifically technical, skilled technical workers and immigration and visas and stuff. I have absolutely no clue. So I don't have a informed opinion to say anything about it. This should be redirecting me to the dashboard. So let's fix that. That's gonna be in hooks. Oh, verify. Uh, so if user, uh, it's not gonna be an admin. What the fuck? What's up? What? Did you forget the trash? Yeah, I did. It's whatever. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, so if the email is verified, move this to the user object, onboarding complete. Oh yeah, we should do that, huh? If route, so we need another one in here. So we would say if um, route dot includes 
Well, we can just say if route is equal to slash um, authenticated slash verify email, we will just return a redirect to the dashboard. So with the shoes on. Yeah, there we go, fix that. Okay, so next we need to find our charting solution. So let's see if uh, Shad CN Svelte has the charts in yet. I know there was a PR draft PR like two weeks ago when I went to look, but I don't know if it's merged yet. <laughs> Does not look like it. I wonder if there is a branch. All right, so it looks like we're not gonna get charts that soon. So we need to go find a uh, Svelte chart library. I think Bloom filters are cool um, for email verification. You would load verified emails into why, how would you use a Bloom filter for email verification? Because Bloom filters guarantee uh, that it, there will not be false negatives, right? <laughs> is this programmer naturally that attractive or is he using filters? Uh, this is actually a uh, anime avatar. Uh, this is not what I really look like at all. Felt five charts. Svender charts. Svelte charts. Does anyone know um, VTuber? <laughs> I am, yeah, I am a very successful VTuber. All right, it looks like this might be the most popular. All right, this looks like it might be fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Charge chat.
This is a relatively low level charting library then. I wonder if there is a package for, oh, what was that fucking charting library? Um, lightweight charts. I've done a ton of work with this library. I know this is I don't know if this is going to have the kind of stuff we want, though. I am a full stack developer. Um, I've been full stack my entire career. I do. I've done like equal amounts of back end and front end over the past 11 years. So I guess we don't really, we can use, we don't need a Svelte specific library, right? We can do like um, uh, best JS chart libraries. There's one by like Uber, I think that's gotten popular over the past couple years. I hate these. I just wanna get a good article here. And we could possibly use chart.js. Apex charts, high charts. What's the one from, um, what's the freaking one from Uber that got real big over the past couple of years? Hey, Victory. I used to, I used to be the maintainer of Victory charts. I love Victory, man. I got to work with some of the people in the 538 team when I was maintaining um, Victory. Victory at the time had like the absolute best API for charts in React. Yeah, we're, we're in Svelte right now. Um, I don't want to drop so low down into um, definitely not as low level as D3. I have no interest in fucking around with D3. What is that freaking library? Uh, Uber chart library, or maybe it's Airbnb. React, oh, maybe it is React Viz. I was wrong. I should have listened to chat. I swear there is like an uh, dependency underneath of this that is a s lower level primitive. Oh yeah, I've um uh, I have spent a lot of time working in charts. <laughs> I mean, if that's not evidenced by me maintaining victory charts for like a year and a half. What's this drop this drop down doesn't even work. Very good. All right, hold on. We're going to go to GitHub and we're going to go to Uber and we're going to see I did a bunch of chart research. All right, hold on. Back to here. I want to look at the dependencies of React Viz.
Okay, there is no dependencies. That's pretty impressive. Uh... All right, do we just use chart.js and call it a day? Best JavaScript chart libraries. I can like see the website in my mind. All these are such garbage freaking links. Back in Chicago, I feel it. That might be it. Kepler might be it too. Okay. It's the thing that Kepler's built on top of. Kepler's pretty dope. If you haven't played with Kepler for mapping stuff, it's uh, pretty sick. Uh, which maybe we can find it in the package JSON here. It might be that Viz one. The city. This guy? No. I don't know what I'm looking for anymore. I've completely lost my... I've lost it, chat. I don't got it anymore. Time to retire. Alright, we're going to try chart JS. So, let's get rid of all this junk. Get started. All right, let's actually go look at the actual type of charts that the client is currently using. <laughs> it was a good run, yeah. Carbon spelt, let's look at that. Carbon spelt. Uh, I don't really want to bring in another, this doesn't look like there's charts either. Functions describe the world. Thank you for the follow, uh, VDSTQBE. All right. Hmm. So some of the charts that the client currently looks at is going to be stuff like this. I think I have more somewhere. Let me see if we have it in Excalibur. Out of my face. Mm. I need to find this document right here. All right, give me a second chat. I'm gonna have to open something off screen for a second.
All right, I'm gonna copy that image and we're gonna paste that over here. And then, come on, I have to have a PDF somewhere. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're going to tr try to, let me just do one more scan through of this. Make sure I don't have anything I'm missing here. All right. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Let me get Twitch chat back up. All right. We're going to get those. Let's go ahead and go back to our Excel sheet quick. And I want to get some screenshots. I don't think this is meetings caps. Premium versus capped. We can make this. So I'm gonna copy a screenshot of this. If I could get my screenshot tool to work.
copy that, copy image, go dump that in Excaladraw. I'll put that over here. Paste that in, make that bigger. Oh my God. All right. So this is kind of our working point right here. Um, so I guess let's get started. Um, well, first let's get the admin flow built out. See you, Jason. Uh, do I have a admin user right now? Uh, role advisor, we'll just make you a admin and we'll do that and with that if we come back over to localhost should be able to log out from you and log into Foo bar baz foo bar baz. Uh oh. Uh oh. Should have redirected me to admin. I think. So let's, I mean, we're already in the right file. So we come in here and we get our user, right? Handle redirects, users not null. If the user is an admin, which should be true, right? We drop into handle admin. My email should be verified. Yeah. You redirect to admin, redirect to admin, otherwise we resolve. That seems right. I would expect to see that. Okay, so we don't have the admin page implemented. Yikes. All right, hold on here. Well, one, this doesn't even make sense. One, we don't, uh, also in our layout server, I don't even, we don't even need that because the parent should be giving us the user, right? Do we get the user here? Crumbs pages. We might as well just get the user here. And down here, add the user to this payload. And then we probably don't need it here anymore. So we could delete this file. Um, likewise, we're probably in here if we're fetching. App sidebar.
our sidebar data. We have dashboard which this probably is broken, right? We probably need to add Well, that is port. Right? Dashboard will be uh Yeah, these don't have icons anymore. This will be admin and we can get rid of that and we can do this this will be admin we should move this up above uh, and then we need to do essentially the same thing this will be slash admin slash clients and we'll take this joint that down slash clients and this will be upload cloud I guess and then we delete that and we resolve that over here on the server if the user role is advisor otherwise we resolve that uh, right. We then do, um, well, here we can get rid of locales. We know we have the user here. We can nix that. We can get rid of that. And then here we can do something similar where this will be user dot role equals, uh, advisor question mark. And then we come over here and we do a redirect paste that there and this will be admin right okay that seems fine We're gonna just do a little uh, kill the server here and a bun run build. Get ourselves in a nice clean state. And now bun run dev. And let's refresh over here. We should probably add a redirect to redirect dashboard to admin. All right, so we hit here. There we go. Do we have a redirect for uh, dashboard? Yeah, great. Nice. Nice. Oh, when did we do this? I don't remember doing this. <laughs> Do you guys remember building this? I don't remember building this. I thought I still had to do all this. Although this is not right. All right, we do have some bugs here, but uh, we have a lot less to build than I thought we did because uh, this is this is this is excellent. Okay, uh, let's just get cracking here. I want to put on some more productive music, so I'm gonna go pick a playlist, and what do I want to listen to? We're gonna listen to this playlist. This band, Set Your Goals. This has been my playlist of my, like, this triggers my ADHD to focus. This is what I've always listened to, to, like, write essays at the last minute, to do all that. So we're going to go ahead and 
shuffle this guy. We're just gonna click next. Okay, so we can get rid of that here, first of all. Jesus. Hey. Hey. Oh, good morning, Bodie. You just knocked my keyboard, but that's okay. Good morning, They were man. so excited to come and see good you. Good morning. I see you, big man. Buddy, come here. Buddy, come here. Down. Come here. Let Winnie go say hi. Good morning, Winnie. Winnie. No. <laughs> Buddy, down. <laughs> chaos. Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. All right, I got to reset my key. Good morning, Winnie. That's, yes. that's all she wanted. Good morning, honey. Let me see your eye. Yeah, there you go. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's go get breakfast. You want breakfast? Let's go. Chaos, chat. It's my life. And you love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Something like this. It's going to take me a minute to get my keyboard back in place. Well, I have a split keyboard, and I don't have it marked where I like it set. Which everyone, I keep saying I'm going to do with, like, electrical tape, but I continue not to do it. All right, uh, okay, so let's go to um, routes, authenticated, main, and then we're going to go to admin and clients, page.server. That's correct. The thing that's wrong right now is I think the breadcrumbs. So when we go to So this is where we get the breadcrumbs. Yeah. So that means me I have a link incorrect somewhere. When we look at, when we go here, admin client, yeah. I need to override the link right here. Functions describe the world. Get wrecked. All right. So I don't think our crumbs data, we need a better way to do this part right here. Basically we need to handle the case 
where it is a ID, right? Like if it's this, Like if we put foo in here, we would see foo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, I need like a, I need like, I don't want to write this myself. There has to be an open source package to parse out, like what does express use under the covers for query parsing? Uh, we could even look at like Hono and what they're doing. I just want to go to theirs is probably hand rolled, which we could probably copy Hono source router. Yeah. Pattern router router. Oh God. Do we think Express hand rolled it? I just want a package to basically do this myself. Like this right here. I want, I want, where's the GitHub link? router I mean I feel like spell kit has to have something to do this right does spell before I go <clears throat> install a package um, I really just want What dependencies do you use? Debug, parse URL, okay. I don't want benches. I want a way to take, I want to get the params out, which probably is going to be params. Yeah, we have params, right? So this is sitting at my root. I basically want to take my route segments. Like if we, uh, if I console.log um, route, we'll do URL and we'll do params. Uh, let's look at what that looks like here. I want to be able to swap out essentially, I want to swap out the params in this route for the params in this params object. Uh, they're not query parameters, it's like path parameters. Sorry. I don't know if this has examples of how this works. It just has benchmarks. Okay, this isn't quite what I wanted. Yeah. Let's go look at spell 
kit, probably. I mean, we can do, hold on. All right, we're just gonna do this ourselves, right? We're gonna come down here and we're gonna do, write a function and we're gonna say function, uh, I don't even know what to call this. Um, uh, parse route, I guess. It's not even parse route. Yeah, whatever. We're going to call it parse route. I don't care. We're going to get the route, which is going to be a string, right? Route ID. Route ID. Yeah, okay. Route ID is a string, and then we're gonna get params, which is gonna be a, a record of property key to a string, pretty much. And in here, we're going to go, um, const keys equals object dot keys params. And then for uh, const key of keys, uh, we'll say let route equals route ID. And we'll say route dot replace all. Does this return a new string? Or is that mutative? Uh, route dot replace all, and we're gonna look for. Let's make our regex here. It's gonna go const value is going to equal params key. We know this is safe. We'll just say invariant. Uh, do I not have that in this code? Whatever. If value is undefined, throw new error. That's just not going to happen. Should never happen. And then in here, we want to match on the key. But that's not looking at the actual value, right? That's like Well, in this case, it's actually kind of true, right? Because like we're getting the keys from the params and then we're using those keys to index back into it. And because this is single threaded and not asynchronous, uh, like there's just like no way that this could be mutated at all. I need like a dynamic regex. New regex. We need like, um, key and
This is flags, right? Um, the I flag for regexes. Regexer flags case insensitive lowercase i. I. And then we come in here and we can put in re. And we're going to replace that with the value. I don't even know if that's really parse route, but that's what we're going to call it. So then we're going to come up here and we're going to say route segments is actually going to be parse route on that. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Route, and this will be params uh, route.id. That should return a string, right? Oh, did we just not return route? Ha! Return route. All right. Let's see what that looks like now. Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. That's uh, <laughs> uh, not what I would have expected. Const parsed route equals parse route. Uh, route.id and then params and we will do that there's another way we could do this That's like, so it's looking for a regex for the key. The key is ID. So we're replacing globally anything that has ID. In fact, these should probably be, uh, these probably need escaped. In fact, we I maybe we don't even need a regex. Now that I think about it, uh, we take this and we do this uh, because this is replacing. This is a capture group for any character that's inside the key. Silly, that's silly. Classic regex mistake. There we go. Got it, chat. Okay. So I want another redirect also that if um, if uh, event dot route dot id is going to equal 
slash authenticated uh, slash main slash admin slash client. We are going to return redirect 302 to slash admin slash clients. So theoretically now when I click that, let me log the route here, uh, event.route.id. All right, we should see this log, hopefully. It's null, not found admin slash client. Good morning, Nightshade. How we doing, buddy? In fact, I know, dude, I want to do all my redirects in one place, though. Authenticated. What were you shoveling? The route ID is null. Okay. Why is the route ID null? Admin client. So do we just put a like, um, layout dot server dot ts here and in here we export const load and this is gonna essentially just do um return redirect 302 slash uh admin slash clients is that all we need to do Page server load. I don't really want to do this here. But will this give me a route ID now? Files prefixed with plus are reserved. Plus layer. Oh, not layer. Ha! I'm thinking effect TS. This will be layout server load. Path name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Event. Route ID is null. Why is the route ID null? Return foo bar. In fact, I don't even think we need this, right? All right, whatever. We're just going to do this the easy way, which is going to be if we go to our hooks and rather than looking at the route ID, which I don't know why that's not a valid route ID. 
Oh, gross. That's re resolve route. Uh, that 404 for me. Functions describe the world. Uh, you said, what was the name of that thing? Resolve route. So if we do this, resolve route. Oh my God, this is what I need. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> okay, well, that's great. Uh, uh, we did that, where was this then? We did that in some layout. Is it this one? No, main. Uh, so let's say this is going to be resolve route. Oh my God, this is so nice. Route.id. And then we just give it params, right? Um, we'll rename this to resolved route. And we'll go here. We'll do something like that. And now why don't we see Well, if we, let's just go to admin real quick and see if it still resolves. And now I can't even get the admin. There we go. Resolved route, that looks good. Oh my God, we don't even have to do, we don't even have to do this thing. because we can just um, route segments. This is actually now just crumbs, right? Crumbs and we can get rid of this. Oh my God, thank you so much for linking me that. That was what I needed. We should see resolved route crumbs, params, route URL. I don't think we really need to look at URL anymore. It's active. We can change this to resolved route. Oh, that can be undefined. What? Oh, that's a function, you need that. What are you upset about here? <laughs> there we go. Crumbs, admin, clients, beautiful. Dang. 
Aruitz. I don't know if that's how you say your name or not, but you just made my life so much easier. It's exactly what I wanted. All right, so now we have to figure out why this is not found admin slash client. So if we go admin, client, we don't have anything in here. Um, like we could do like a layout probably plus layout dot svelte that that's not how you spell felt and we come in here and this is just going to what is this going to do it's going to render its children that's like it which how do we do that yeah we want this thing basically We'll come in here, we'll do that. We don't need the toaster. We don't need that. We don't need that. We just do this. So now we're at admin client. So if we go back, Why? Not found admin client. Do I need a page? Admin clients view client. That redirect worked. Does it just need like straight up and empty? Can this be empty even? What up Andres, Andres, probably Andres. All right, that feels like it's working. So it just needs like an empty, can I get rid of the view, client, view, client, view, client. All right. That feels like it's working. Does this work? That doesn't work. For some reason. I don't know why the account's not working for the admin. Uh, we can come back and... Yeah, isn't this kind of dumb? Just having an empty page but whatever i wonder if there is there, there might be a routing convention for this uh in spell kit I, I probably just need to read the docs uh blah 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 Mm-hmm. 
functions describe the world. Okay, this is somewhat similar. Item. Ordinarily, this would inherit the root layout app, the items layout. We can reset to one of those layouts by appending at followed by the segment name. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, whatever. We have it working. That's good enough for me. Thank you for the follow. Easy game, easy life. Appreciate you. All right, let's go figure out why the account page is borked. Uh, so we have authenticated main account page that's felt. We get the user. That should be fine. Uh, we probably have a stupid redirect. It's almost certainly a redirect. Uh, so that's going to be in our hooks. So. Handle admin. We come in here and we see that. Do we see anything for account? Hmm. That might be in our um, sidebar data file. Sidebar data. I see that file literally right here. Here we go. Uh, is sidebar link. I see. That probably is why that was broken. Almost guaranteed. You can close that. Okay. You can close all of these. We don't need Hono. We don't need Express admin account there we go okay so let's make this look prettier now so we're going to come in here and we are going to uh i'm actually going to quit to clear my buffers side of bar uh it might be there's actually a pretty good chance <laughs> that Oh God, I don't even know where I put that activity events, email hooks, uh, is that under routes, authenticated main, I can't even find where lib components side of bar. Nailed it. Now, why is this broken? Uh, I think there is one other place that we are using this that I don't know why we're getting a type check. Um, yeah, I don't know why that wasn't picking that up. Dude, man, Svelte's LSP is just like not there. There we go. 
Okay. So now we go to routes slash um, main, and then we want clients. And we probably want, I have no idea which one of these it is. Let's just grab this one. Yep, all right, we at least got to the right place. Page that's felt. All right, let's make this pretty quick. And we'll base this off of dashboard and then we'll just grab this. And let's come in here and make clients card dot spelt. Save that. And we're gonna yoink, just yank this full file, put that in there and then we can close this side. And actually we need page that's felt and we can get rid of a lot of this stuff. Get rid of you. Uh, we'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of all this garbage. Uh, get rid of you and you. My ear itches. Hi, Alice. How are you? Get rid of this junk. Get rid of all this junk. I'm gonna leave Unify Intersection in because I use that all the time. Uh, we'll keep users too. This is gonna be clients and card content. We'll get rid of this. Get rid of this snippet. And then in here, we'll grab this, yoink that, and that will go in this, boom. And we'll grab 7K, yoink that, 23 up, put that in there. We don't need those, probably don't need Unify Intersection, but we do need props which is going to have um, clients, which will be a array of this structure, array of users. I think I have a type for this. Admin user, okay, we can do the same thing here. This will be a advisor user. And then we can come over here and we'll have a array of advisor users. And we need to import that. Why would that import? You know, why just why? Why would that work the first try? Lies. Oh, speaking of coffee, I should go put my mug on the charger. Almost just grabbed an alcoholic seltzer. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 9.55 a.m. Okay, I don't know why this is upset because I know for a fact we're looking at this over here and this is valid. So we're just gonna right quit all and let the LSP try to figure its life out.
I'm assuming that's working now. Yeah, it is. So then we can get clients. And down here, uh, we can we can bring in button, that's not a problem. Okay, that looks good. And then in our page.svelte, we can, rather than rendering this, we're just gonna render our um, clients card. And this will get clients. In fact, I like doing this. Do this. Data.clients slash that. We're probably going to need a layout here. Oh, it looks pretty good. Her role is advisor. This should narrow to array of uh, advisor user. That's real annoying that that doesn't narrow. All right, we can, this is so annoying. Uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, we're going to, we have queries somewhere. Yeah, so we'll make a prepared statement and then we'll just do a cast. I have three open. There we go. We'll get um, export const get advisor users equals db dot in fact we can just select this Whatever. I'm bummed that this doesn't narrow. Yeah, it won't narrow. Whatever, that's okay. That should at least mean now in our component, yeah, we don't get that problem anymore. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go grab 
the yeah this bit and that centers okay now we can make this look better right we have a lot more data All right. Um, what up, Roasted? Let's, let me just check. This shouldn't be. What is the data we want to put in this card? So I want to be able to show the coach that, um, mm, all right, we have to go do some data updates. Um, the first thing I, I have a to do something written somewhere, uh, to do, I swear I had a to do, oh, it's in front to do. Yeah. Move this to the user object. So when the user completes the onboarding assessment, we want to add a field to the user because it's just going to make life easier. Email verified. And then we're going to do, um, onboarding um onboarding assessment completed and this will be a boolean and it'll be onboarding uh, assessment completed and uh, this can be not null and the default will be false I should really make this a status now keep it simple we don't need to do that we can refactor later and run a migration if we need to so let's do a uh, make sure that's saved, generate, and now let's migrate. Great. And um, that means in data grip, we want to go run an additional migration probably, because these are all going to be these should all be updated. Can I do like a bulk update? Edit. True. Ship. And let's just like set, um, let's just set for Lieutenant Dan. We're going to set it to false. 
This should be not nullable. Didn't we say that was not nullable? Not null. I shouldn't be able to set that to null. That should be invalid. Yeah, okay, great. All right, that's what it is. Okay, uh, then that makes life easier in f over here because we were doing a fucking, on every single route, we were doing a query to the database. And now instead we can just look at, um, we can look at, You can delete this. And we can say user dot um, onboarding assessment completed equals false. We'll redirect there. And that removes a whole query on every single navigation. which now means in our table that we were looking at, clients card, we can have, um, we can have a new row and this will be onboarding um, status. And we will do onboarding why can't I destructure this there we go email verified uh, or have to restart the LSP again because it's not picking up on onboarding complete we'll write a little function to get a status um, this will be onboarding assessment completed. There we go, very, very nice. And we'll write a little function up here. Functions describe function, the uh, world. Get onboarding uh, status. And this is going to take, um, we'll just say input. And we'll write a type for this. So be get onboarding status input, and this is going to return um, completed will be one. Um, another one will be uh, we'll just say assessment, and then email verification. And let's make this type. And this is going to equal um, email verified is a Boolean. And then we'll have um, onboarding assessment completed is a Boolean. And then we'll come in here. This is where I wish we had pattern matching because life would be so much nicer. But we will... Um, if email verified, if not input dot onboarding assessment completed, we will return, um, assessment. And then we will come down here and we'll say, if not verified, this will be email verification. Uh, and then we will return completed. What up, Mr. Haley? Are you, are you the John Haley that works at Hrefs and worked on Git Kraken and stuff? 
Or am I mixing up people right now? And libgit2 Sharam? Nice. I thought so. How you doing, man? It's been a while. Okay, so this is going to let us get uh, some nice labels down here. Uh, we also have... I guess we can just do this. Awesome, glad to hear it. I think we made a util to grab get user full name. So let's just, uh, yeah, we'll change this to be, um, we'll use our utility functions that we have. So we have a client, and then this can be client.id as the key. And in here, I'm up with my daughter. I wanted to show her stream. Oh, well, good morning. Uh, we can do get user full name and we will pass in client who is a user. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that works. Great. And then table row. We need another cell over here. She smiled and said good morning. Thank you. Buenos dias, mi Amiga. This will be client.id. Future. All right, that looks good. Uh, the other row, we, so we need to get the status. I know I have another table component somewhere where we made like a little badge. Um, status. Completing, uh, let's actually make this a little bit better. Um, so it can be awaiting assessment in progress. I guess it just can be rather than these Let's change this and we're gonna go here. If not that or not um, input dot email verified, we'll switch this from being these different states and we're just gonna say in progress, uh, in progress. In fact, we can just make it a space and um, in progress, completed. And then where, let's go look for where we had the badge before uh, so let's do a grep and we'll look for badge, account card, badge, star, star. Yeah. So let's yoink that. And then we'll come down to, we'll make another table cell. We don't need the capitalized anymore. In fact, we can. Uh, no, that's fine. Import that. And then the check circle, we're gonna want a condition in here. And we'll say if um, get uh, 
uh, onboarding status. And we'll pass in, uh, honestly, we can pass in the client because it's a super type of the input. That's kind of nice. Uh, if that equals uh, completed, in fact, we can go back and make this a little bit more programmatic. We will throw this in here. We need an else. And then we need to close uh, the else slash if. Is that how that works? And we'll just do like a, I don't know, an h1 for a second, foo bar. Okay, uh, we'll change this to say this is going to be um, completed. Completed this. Let's switch this to a C. That should give us a type error. Yeah, thank you. Change that. And then this will become a programmatic value in progress. Great. And coming back down here, we need a, we need like an X value. Let's go look at Lucide charts. Hey, hey, that looks not half bad. That hover is disgusting though. We got to fix that hover. Lucide. And let's find a icon that is like bad. Uh, X. Cancel. Incomplete. No. We could do a ban. Maybe a warning. Kind of like that octagon alert. That looks kind of nice. Do we like the triangle alert? Probably the triangle alert. Yeah, let's do triangle alert. Uh, else we'll do yoink and we can do, uh, this will be triangle alert. And we need to like, I need to go like get rid of the hover on this thing. The hover on this is so bad. Um, badge variants. Where's the hover? Functions describe Default. the world. Background primary divided by 80. Maybe let's change this to like be like 10. See what that looks like instead. Thank you for the follow, uh, the shadow. Appreciate you hanging out with us this morning. So let's see how that looks. Bump this up to the top. Uh, I don't really want the split. Uh, maybe it's 90. No, that's so bad. Background primary. Oh, it's because, 
Okay, I know what I need to do here. We're gonna go here and we're actually gonna override this uh, in our component, yank to there. Um, let's go to, although, badge. Yeah, I did overwrite it. Let's paste hover. Um, this will be change to slash background green. One hundred. Describe that should fix the that. world. It's so subtle. Like you can hardly even tell. Let's see if I do like uh, forty. What that looks like. A little bit better or less exaggerated to 10. That's too much. 30. Forty. Whatever, that's fine. Uh although This should be um, in progress. Our client, if not onboarding assessment completed or not email verified, I believe Lieutenant Dan, oh, that needs to be yellow. That's why it's all green. So this actually needs to be we need to use class names here and we'll use that and then CN, great. And then that, delete around that. We'll put that over here, this, and background, we will say border Green 800 will be um, get onboarding status. You could honestly, rather than making this a function, we could make this a piece of derived state. So let's say onboarding status is going to equal derived, and this will be a function Um, does derive take a function? Is that what that takes? Yeah, it does. Or no, it just takes an expression. So let's change in that and we'll say, um, we'll just use this function, get onboarding status and we'll pass in, oh, we need it for each client though. That's right. Okay, so what we were doing was right. Right, I forgot we were looping. Thank you for the follow, Software Ninja. Appreciate you. Let's open that, uh, get onboarding status, and then we'll just pass in the client is going to equal um, completed. And then we'll do the same thing for uh, background. Green 100. And uh, where did we screw this up? Yoink. Try and we might. And then we'll do um, the same thing for the hover. We could do this smarter, but it's fine.
yank to there. We'll put that in there. This will be the same exact thing. Yoink. Paste. <laughs> Honestly, what we should really do is write a function. Function get onboarding status badge classes styles. Uh, this is going to take a client, a really, we'll use the same input and get onboarding status input. And this is just going to return, we get const status equals get onboarding status input. And then we'll say if status is equal to completed, we're going to return the styles we already have, which is, uh, where's the badge at? Right here. Yank around that, go back up, paste that in, format that. Otherwise, we're going to return essentially the same thing, but using yellow. We might have to go update our yellow palette color, but let's highlight this and change green to yellow globally on that selection. And then we can use this down here on the badge slash badge. And we can change in there. And this will be get onboarding badge styles. That takes the client. OK. There we go. Great. And then we'll also do change in tag, email, verification, verification, and that will get another table cell just like this. And we'll paste that here. And instead, in fact, we can actually use the same exact, no, we can't. Let's just yoink this and this will be whatever. I don't care. We'll duplicate code. Get change to uh, email verification badge. And this will just be input dot email verified you like that come down to here change your word get email verification bad styles and this will be verified um unverified verified if input dot not input client dot email verified and let's just go ahead and say let's update mr lieutenant dan to have um his email not verified. We'll make this false, commit that. And then if we go back to arc, we should see on a refresh, unverified. Okay. And then the last column we want is um,
At some point, we're going to need to paginate this table. That should be not onboarding. Well, that could be onboarding. We need this concept of um, whether there are reports to review. Um, So that would be like unreviewed change in tag is going to be unreviewed reports. Then we could have something like um, and then it could be like a review metric report. something like that. Yeah, something like that. All right, chat, I have a doctor's appointment uh, that I have to, a virtual doctor's appointment I have to get ready for, so we're going to end five minutes early. But tomorrow we are going to build out the client screen for viewing this, and then we're going to build uh, the charts and also this landing page. Um, so, yeah, this is this is starting to come together. It's like a real app now. We've got so much going on here. We should probably get rid of this notifications thing because that doesn't really exist. All 
I am ending now, Vafi. We'll do we'll do code real quick. I gotta get ready for a doctor's appointment, but we'll do a quick codal. All right, chat. If you don't know, codal is Wordle, but for programming languages. Uh, so let's start with our classic OCaml. Whoops, OCaml. Uh, so it's object oriented. It means it's older than OCaml. Uh, let's say Fortran. Uh, it is newer than Fortran. Let's go C++. Uh, oh, it's not compiled. It's dynamic. Um, Lua? I don't know how old Lua is. Let's go Lisp. Lisp is compiled, though. We need an interpreted language. Uh, when was JavaScript made? All right, we got the year. Oh my God. Another dynamic language that was made in 1995. It's dynamically typed. No, it's not Java. It's got to be dynamically typed. Uh, Jesus. Action script, maybe? Perl? How old's Perl? I feel like, is Ruby, all right, we'll go Ruby. Nope. Ruby was made in 95 though. Uh, Jesus. Uh, God. This one's so hard. Action script? PHP? Was PHP made in 95? All right, we'll go PHP. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's freaking go. Man, I didn't realize all those languages were made in 95. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's find somebody to raid. And I'm gonna have to raid and run quick. Uh, we're gonna go raid Primogen. Somebody let him know that I'm raiding and running, please. Actually, I'll just let him know, I got time. Porque Maria. All right, chat, have a lovely Wednesday. I'll catch you all tomorrow morning. Thanks for hanging out.